You know, I usually don't really talk about these kind of topics, but given that John Snyder was one of the stars in the television show that got me started on the internet, first through blogging, then on YouTube, I felt like, you know what, why not cover this story a bit? Now, as you all know, at the Super Bowl, it was announced that Beyonce was going to drop a new album, uh, Renaissance Act 2, I believe. And a lot of people were speculating, wait a minute, why is Beyonce rocking like a country cowgirl look? I believe she wore this um, the week prior to the Super Bowl at the Grammys. And then she even dropped two songs, which I haven't listened to them myself yet, but um, they're the country genre. And I do believe over the past week, I did see some headlines about um, some country music radio stations refusing to play the songs, but um, then some labels or then Beyonce's label got involved. And I believe now these songs are airing and um, some people have some thoughts on that. Now, John Snyder from Dukes of Hazzards, um, Smallville, and as I mentioned before, the haves and the have nots spoke about it. And I did listen to the interview and man, kind of hard to listen to it because, you know, I, I don't know these people. I, I, I don't know them. I just know that I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of these actors and their work. But sometimes when um, you learn more about the person and their thoughts on certain things, it it, it, it becomes slightly difficult to or a bit difficult to separate like the artist from their work. But he says some interesting things about how, you know, a dog will mark every tree in a, you know, dog part, like it's their territory. So, um, you know, a lot of people interpret it as him calling Beyonce and other non country artists who try to push their way into the genre as nothing but dogs trying to mark their territory. And I, I, he's like a country purist because he did, a lot of country music himself. He has a number of albums and a few number one hits, but it just seems a bit too, I don't know, maybe pretentious is the right word I'm looking for here. But even though I'm not the biggest Beyonce fan myself, I, I said this in one of my other videos, particularly the one about Jay-Z's rant at the Grammys about Beyonce never being the recipient of album of the year. I said, I'm more of a fan of her Destiny's Child and her first few solo albums era, eras. Though That's my favorite Beyonce. But even so, what's wrong with an artist experimenting in other genres? Because John even said himself, there are other country artists who have ventured out into other genres. So why is it such a big deal when other artists who are non-country choose to partake in a genre even though i believe beyonce did a country tune back in 2016 i mean why is it an issue now is it because she's a woman who's doing this or let's be real is it because she's a black woman who's pursuing the art of country and her music now it just seems a bit too the r word and you're kind of you know what i'm talking about and i think a lot of people are talking about it um in terms of twitter and comment section on videos it's like I mean, John Snyder doing this to Beyonce with his statements is like you got a problem with what black people in country music, but you didn't have a problem accepting money from a black man, a.k.a. Tyler Perry, when you were on his show. And the list goes on. It's just crazy to me that people will be this butthurt over it. It's like Eminem. He's white, but he was doing rap music. OK, one of the best rappers. Yeah. Yeah. Some people don't like that because he's white, but it's true. Um, and then when it comes down to it, I really do feel like um, these statements do say a lot about him as a person. And it's sad because it's like they say, never meet your heroes. Man, it's crazy. But I mean, who's the gatekeeper on who can and can't do country music? I mean, is it a problem because he's I mean, she's choosing to do the country music genre or the problem that you all know for a fact that her one or two songs that she's dropped is going to be more valuable than some of these country artists whole, you know, collection of music, their entire masters or their whole catalog. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I mean, Taylor Swift was country and now look at her. She switched to pop and now she's the biggest thing on the planet since, you know, the last big artist. No, I'm not saying Michael Jackson, but 
she's literally like the top, you know, just artist, musical act in the world right now. And she was country. So why is it that another one of the top musical acts from another genre is coming, a genre is coming into country. It's just crazy to me that people feel like they can dictate who and, you know, who can't partake in a particular genre. So if you don't like the music, then just don't listen to it. You know, like I said, I'll give the music a chance. Like I'll listen to these songs here when I choose to do it. I'm not rushing out to listen to them, but I've seen enough reels while I've been scrolling that I've heard at least the chorus of it. But um, yeah, it's just crazy to me that these gatekeepers think they can tell people what they can and can't do. And like somebody said in the comments, yeah, I can't wait until Beyonce uh, sweeps at the uh, Country Music Awards. That's going to be crazy. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about John Snyder's comments. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.